we're gonna get some, some priming now. I just wanna show you the spray booth on my painting station. Fits perfect, lays nice, that little lip there. And I got the hose going in through my dryer thing. I had to adapt that a little bit. The back end of that was a little bit bigger. I think we're going from four inch to three inch. But just some packing tape, works great. I just wanted to show you how well this thing works. Let me pull this back a little bit. Or let me put this back on here. watch this turn this thing on and it just sucks the whole box together so you know there's plenty of uh, suction try and get this thing off it pulls so it's like a windstorm in there so uh, we'll come back and start some priming um, thank you for joining me and I guess this will be part five officially laying some color down so uh, thank you for joining me be back in soon well, we're at the moment we've all been uh, waiting for, or me especially. Got the fan going, got the uh, Patriot 105 with some um, Vallejo Gray Surface Primer. We'll start getting this thing done. We're gonna go in later and uh, appreciate it, but that's after we prime it. Yeah, start getting some of the parts, get those all primed up too. This is this beautiful primer, it goes on nice and smooth. The Patriot 105 puts it out nice and fast. Oops, I got stuck in there. And look at that, that air, that spray, it does not linger a second. I think I'm gonna actually compete. Maybe turn this down a little bit. Yeah, it's still getting really good uh, clearance. This is an awesome spray booth. I don't have to wear any kind of protection. It's pulling. I've got it at half speed. You can see that this. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It just, just sucks it right off when I'm trying to get it on the model. Well, I am going to um, finish doing this off camera instead of boring everyone. And I don't know, my battery's dying too, right, as we speak. So that's about two minutes right there. So we'll be back soon. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, hey, we're getting in the right direction. Thanks again. Well, we got everything primed and ready to go. Um, the two uh, guys with the rocket launchers, I, I am burnt out on modeling right now. I will get back to them in the future, but uh, there'll be no, no problem. I'm just gonna go put those guns together and then prime those and paint them up. But I wanna get this thing going and uh, get it finished. It's uh, been a lot of modeling and drilling and drilled my finger and um, getting all these magnets in was crazy. But I think it'll all be well worthwhile. I got the um, Sotar ready to go. And I'm going to probably use some Minotaur paint to do some uh, pre-shading on, on the panel lines and get underneath the, uh, the vehicle and get behind things and just, uh, you know, give it that before I hit it with the main color. So uh, that is it for right now. And uh, as always, thank you for joining me and we'll see you in a few. Thanks again. Okay, we're getting done with the pre-shading now. I got most all the parts done. Um, let's notice I got this little guy to do in the back. There we go. And then we'll do the panel lines on this thing. There's all kinds of little details and nooks and crannies to get in here.
love the lines on this thing. I got it, uh, the adjustment on the, um, the trigger so it doesn't pull back too much so not too much paint comes out. So it can control your uh, line width. And I got it down a little around 20 pounds. Well, I'm going to uh, finish this up off the camera and not waste your time watching me doing this. And we'll be back soon. Thanks. Well, the pre shading is done now. I'm going to go hit it now with the um, I'll mix up some of this um, model color green gray. I'm going to have to uh, thin it out and I'm going to put it through the um, Renegade Velocity. I like that brush a lot and it's easy to use. And then uh, we'll come back and show you what the base coat looks like. Thank you for joining me. Well, I'm going to throw on the base coat now. Um, I've got good lighting here. Let's see. The spray booth is awesome. I'll turn that on too while we're doing this. Um, I got the uh, model color green gray. That's going to be our uh, base color. Thinned it out with some um, my usual mixture. And also to keep the pigment together, there's some. Uh, golden uh, airbrush medium in there too. Got a half and half mix and uh, got it to the uh, consistency of 2% milk and let's uh, see how this works. See the fan sucking some of the uh I'm just let's not use the fan right now. Sucking some of the paint away. <laughs> Need some of the fan. Oops. That wasn't good. Remember to keep it always moving, you don't want to get puddles. Oh, ran out of paint. We'll keep just laying low, light coats on. Get this back of this going. See how this booth, I just barely have it on. It's fighting for the paint. This is gonna be a cool color, very military looking. And don't forget, we'll want to do washes for the panel lines too. Looking good. I'm really impressed with the color and the pre shading is turning out nice. Just gotta keep you know some of those areas that got a little too heavy. That always happens. Just lightly go over with coating it until you get to that point where you like it. And I really, really heavily went in here with the uh, charcoal, miniature charcoal, and toned it down. more because that those panel lines are nice but you don't want that roof skewer to have a lot of sun hitting it. They're right above there. Don't look at that. 
Well, that's good, good for right now. I just want to get that to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to get the rest of these things base coated out, and then uh, we'll be back and show you what we're doing. Thanks for joining me. Well, I got the base coats done. Um, I wanted this to look looted like it was stolen from a construction site and converted into a grabbing claw. And just did the kind of some of the basic metallics, got the basic uh, color down, and you can see a lot of the pre shading. Um, did the metallics, obviously, and that's about it. Um, I'm going to make this the end of part five, and then we'll be uh, getting. Uh, on with the uh, finishing of this. And I can get back to the uh, Orc Boys too. Now with the spray booth and this thing, I gotta take this up down and uh, go back and forth, but that won't be a problem. I'll let this uh, dry for a while before I start doing the camouflage on it. And um, we'll be seeing everyone in the next video. Thanks for joining me.